Hi guys, out and about, let's get the microphone on, out and about as per normal, it's not a bad day today so I thought I'd take the opportunity in getting out, <laughs> need I dare say I'm out filming, yeah came across this old dead tree here that's a huge huge tree have a look have a closer look at this that is huge look at that the good thing about this area is these dead trees don't never hardly get touched whereas if it was in near the city or that it would be well chopped up but the landowners and the farmers here leave them for the wildlife naturally look at this something's been chewing away at that lovely eh? another bit over there huge it is huge over there I'm going to take you over there just in a minute yeah that's a good thing our trees up here get left for the natural environment the wildlife let it decay naturally there's hundreds maybe thousands of creatures in that tree making good use of it eating the termites making homes out of it blah 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 I've found my glasses these glasses are great for wildlife filming and whatever I'd lost them turn these round I'd lost them uh, just before Christmas I didn't know where they are but with me doing all this cleaning and spring cleaning and whatever I'm coming across loads of stuff well you've seen this morning's vlog I had the uh, the sunshade shield for my little camera yeah this is a this is a great field here well it's not a field it's a moor but this is called the haggis moor the rare scottish haggis moor i'll take it up a bit and we might 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 see one but you know the, the legend of the Scottish haggis, a mysterious little creature. Well, that over there is a breeding ground for them. Well, I'll just zoom in for you. There is where the haggis moor is. And it's on a hill, goes up there. So guys, that's where the haggis well, breeding uh, where they're kept yeah, this is their environment this is the haggis moor so I've took you to a new place lovely, eh? I take, don't say I don't take you anywhere I take you to all the good places and then uh, maybe one day we will film, it's behind me film in the haggis moor a haggis or some haggises they're a little cheap for you because I'm quite confident we will just shortly I haven't seen any so far I've been going up and down here for a couple of days now and it's looking for them and the only thing I've seen is the hawk yeah in fact he flew over us there was a crow chasing him he just carried on straight into that forest over there but yeah that's great Another adventure for you. Yeah. The old Haggis Moor. I've been here for ages. Yeah. Now, I think there's some pheasants about here. Because I did hear them. I heard them, guys. Yeah. Let's go up here a bit see what we can see 
any signs of them. Let's have a little look. This is great. I guess moors just through the cheese here. Yeah. If you don't know what a haggis is, a Scottish haggis, it's a mythical creature, or supposed to be. Uh, but I've seen them. I haven't actually filmed one yet, but I've seen them for a distance. Yeah. Nice day it is again. Anyway, if you want to find out, guys, look up. Scottish haggises. In fact, type in real Scottish haggises and that will give you the story. I'm just looking, the sun rays are coming through the sky, look. Not very often in February you get a beautiful day like this. That's the old buzzard tree I was telling you about last few vlogs. A big nest in there, it collapsed and fell. You might see it and see between you can see the stump where I was telling you about the Kesha making the nest. Yeah, let's have a look. Lots of birds into Oh, there's some sign. There's sign, guys. Look. That there is sign of a pheasant or woodpecker stripping away the bark. See how he stripped away the bark? There's little holes in there, you see, and that's termites. So that's sign. <laughs> oh, caught in the fence. That's the sign of a pheasant or a woodpecker or some some bird digging away at the mites. Any signs down here? No. Yeah. So we might be in for a bit of pheasant action. Today, <laughs> got Mr. Fox here. Look, still not painted it yet. Still not got time to do the rest of the carving, but we will get there. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that vlog this morning. I wasn't going to do one in in the morning. I was just going to get up and get out and uh, after breakfast just shoot out. But I thought, nah, I'll make a vlog. Give the guys a little cheat. Just listening guys because there's a lot of bird sounds and whatever, a lot of movement and because it's such a a milder day, it's mild air. Remember what I say it's mild air. <laughs> because it's still cold, but a lot milder than what it was in those minuses. So at least we've got a little bit of a glint of sunshine today. Yeah, as I says, I'll get him done. I've got all these jobs in mind, so they're all in line to be done, and there's no hurry. My main priority, as I said this morning, I sold five fox paintings, so I'll need to be doing more, <laughs> more in the way of foxes, uh, which I love. I love, I'm going to enjoy doing that. I've been waiting on the time when I sold quite a few foxes in one day, so to give me the opportunity to... to start painting again. So I'll probably do foxes, hares, maybe a couple of deer. I've got enough pheasants I think just at the moment. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how how the painting of these goes. I don't know if I'll be doing, I might just do a couple of winter, winter scenes again because mostly winter scenes that I've been selling lately. But yeah, let's go over to this tree. I want to show you that nest if I can. Yeah, away from the haggis moor. We'll go back there one day and I'll show you haggises one day. But uh, at the moment, I think they're in hibernation at the moment. Yeah, I think they're in hibernation at the, at the moment. So, 
you can see it's coming up to the you see the big nest it fell that's it there that big ball it fell guys in a storm you maybe see it better that way go under it see it that big ball lovely eh? look at the height of that that's a huge huge tree you know yeah look at that that's not just a small tree I hear a shrek over there there's a nest there yeah a better view of it there it fell down it's too low now for it to use so they'll not be using that but yeah that's good anyway I'm going to carry on here Heathfield the dragon tree another dragon tree so what I'm going to do is look at those blue skies yeah I'm going to love yous and leave yous here you're the shake. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear on there but he's shrekened in there yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you here and go and get some of those pheasants on film, I think. Yeah, so until next time, I'll say bye bye. There's a, see it? Buzzard nest. Shame, eh? But I think these, that's, that's wildlife for you. Hear it? Shrek is not happy. Take the mic out. As usual, he stopped doing his shrekking. <laughs> he stopped doing his shrekking, guys. When I turned his round, but we'll get him again. There's a train going up the valley. You'll be able to hear that. Yeah. So, I'll say goodbye for now <laughs> until the next vlog where is the dragons come on let's go and find some dragons maybe get some dragon eggs today bye bye